Okay, tonight I'm making some yogurt. This is my mom's recipe that I just improvised and added different uh, probiotics from different kinds of yogurt. Uh, normally it would be like a Greek style yogurt. Um, I don't have Greek style yogurt. I just have the regular cream line yogurt from Trader Joe's. It's whole milk yogurt plain. Uh, I'll use the probiotics in there the, as a culture. Then I'm going to uh, kick it up a notch and add the probiotics culture from uh, Kiffer. Um, and um, in addition to that, I'm going to add the probiotic culture from goat milk kefir, which is better for digestion and healthier for you. So we're going to see how that turns out. It's going to turn out really good. I know it is. Um, and um, that's the milk. I'm going to bring it up to boil. And then uh, once it comes up to a, a little boil, I don't want it to boil a lot. Otherwise, you'll just ruin it. And it'll turn into curd. Um, you want to um, bring it up to a boil where it's just barely bubbling. And then you let it set for a while. Let the temperature drop. Um, it's about, I think it's about 100, 120, no, about 120 degrees. Um, if you could put your finger in it and it doesn't burn your finger, like right there at the borderline, um... And that's what my mom used to do. And then she would get some of the milk that's hot and then mix it in here to cool it down a little bit. And then she'll pour that back into here, mixing it slowly, not fast. We don't want to break it up and turn it into curd. Um, then we pour that back into a bottle and keep it into a warm place. Well, since I just made some yummy stuff, and it's nice and hot in here, I'm gonna keep it in the oven. I'm gonna keep it in the oven, and I'm gonna wrap it up with towels. I'm gonna have a cap on there, I'm gonna wrap it up in towels, and it's gonna stay warm at around 100 degrees. I want it to stay at around 100 degrees uh, overnight, like eight hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours. The longer you leave it, the tardier it's going to get. My mom liked it tardy, so she left it out even longer, like even 10 hours. So, yeah, try it. See how you like it. Bye-bye. So now the temperature went down low enough. So my mom used to touch the, um, see, she used to touch the milk to check the temperature. And then you can do the same thing just by touching the outside of this pot instead of putting your finger in there. So that feels like, it's like 120 degrees. So, so what I'm gonna do is, well, I got one cup of culture, all those three different cultures, including the goat milk, um, kefir. I'm going to put that in separate containers, and we're going to do it in segments. Because if the temperature is too hot to kill the bacteria, initially, I got three different stages. Most of that bacteria is going to stay alive in here, and it's going to multiply in that jar. So I'm going to put some in here right now. do half that that's going in here I'm gonna mix it I have to this in and then I'm gonna pour 
warm some more. So right now the temperature lowered because I add a, a cooler temperatured um, culture. It was cooler than this, obviously, right? So now that's going in here. My mom would get every single drop with her finger. Conservative. She doesn't want to waste. I don't want to waste either, but I literally got almost everything out of here. Oh, it's enough. Ooh, it's turning into a curd. Oh, cross my fingers, it works out. I see little tiny curds, but it should hold. We'll see. If it doesn't, it's never a waste. My mom never wasted it. You could always turn it into um, Lebney by putting it into a cheesecloth and draining the liquid out, keeping the curd. <clears throat> it's kind of like cheese, but it's not. It's uh, yogurt cheese. All right, so now that's going to go in there. So, after I put the yogurt milk in, in um, I'm going to put it in here next. And I'm going to cover it and wrap it. I might have to, I think I'm going to have to lower this. So I'm insulating it from the bottom all the way around the sides. Keep it at 
at that temperature for a longer period of time. So here it is. This is the yogurt I made last night. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Enjoy.